by uh, by the so the newspaper but, but in Chicago. But according to the old CPI station, it is not uh, impacted to the yeah. uh, new uh, base. But there were two two issues. <laughs> yeah, actually. One is that spun city that actually behaves just like a spun can only deal with everyday storm event. Oh. You can't deal with the extreme flood that's caused by a typhoon or a cyclone. Mm -hmm. Corridors then become important. When you cannot deal with that, how do you channel your flood water through the corridor? So I keep emphasizing that Spun City is not just about what you do in the streets, it's how you plan the city yeah. and how you connect the corridor. And this was what how Kunshan had done it. If they create the corridor such as this, all the flood water can be managed. And then they start to work with us to then say, what else can we do? And then we introduce this concept of scale, that you can have Spun City initiative in front of a building. You can have a Spun City in open space and gardens, and you can have Spun City that is part of the corridor. Now, this concept is not new, but this is where we are at with the city of Kungshan, to actually start to think about the scale of introduction of it. What you will be visiting in Melbourne is exactly that. This has been developed over the last 20 to 30 years. Right at the bottom, on the left, is what you will see today at Monash. How the concept of the use of nature-based solution is now transformed into good architectural design for buildings. You will also see this end, whereby how the city of Melbourne actually was very concerned about flooding, especially when the area is growing, and create corridors, and over time, how those corridors have got wetlands in them for water cleansing as well. And everything in between, you will visit Fitzroy Garden that shows that in open space, how the city of Melbourne used that open space for water harvesting. You will be going to Limbrook later today to look at how that is implemented at the street. You will be going to Royal Park tomorrow to see how we actually look at changing a park into a wetland that has parkland, water management, and flood management.